1982, he bought a vacant 25,000 square foot building on Euclid Avenue in East Cleveland and opened the Edward E. Parker Creative Arts Complex as a place to showcase his art. They never give you what you ask for and build your own thing. So I saw this building. I was looking for it in a, a studio. I saw an older gentleman across the street from this building and uh, he said, what's wrong, son? You look perplexed. I said, I am. He said, I said, I'm thinking about buying that building, but I'm intimidated. And he said, how old are you? I said, I'm 42. He said, buy the building, because if you mess up, you're young enough to start all over again. I bought the building. I mean, that hit home. Most people want to quit at 42. <laughs> Parker began dabbling in art in the fourth grade. I had difficulties with the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. I had a speech impediment, and there was a fourth grade art teacher who took interest in me and called my parents and said, he has a talent, so if you let me, I will send him to school, which was a Toledo Museum of Art. So I went there for a year, then my parents took it up and I went there for about six years. So I started in the fourth grade doing art. He received a degree in art education administration from Central State University and a master's degree in art education at Kent State University. I studied uh, uh, art education administration all the way through school. But I took painting and drawing and uh, there was a lot of good painters and drawers, but I said I wanted to go further. I wanted to start putting people, making uh, my people, black people, uh, have a presence. I uh, start doing black people. I've done Martin Luther King. I've done Malcolm X. I start doing important Zalma George. I start doing important people because they need a place. So I say like a resting place. Parker is a muralist and painter, although he's best known for his ceramics. I think I'm a better sculptor than painter or drawer. I draw pretty good, but I like to see that mud and put it together. It's something to take mud and make it breathe. You cannot direct a course of art. If art finds you worthy, it will direct your course. I am a theme artist, so I do, I do themes like Chicken George Revisited, Africa on the Moon, that kind of thing. So, uh, and I always felt that the more you do, the better you get, so I kind of work every day. My work, hopefully, it, it resembles somebody. When you look at it, you can say, well, that looks like, you know. Uh, uh, here again, the more you do, the better you get. So I, I try to work every day to get better at. And I can make clay float. Think about that. Parker draws upon his imagination for inspiration. Drawing is the key. I tell my students, if you can draw it, you might be able to do it. But if you can imagine it in its totality, that's what I do. But here again, it it's, it's, uh, takes years, you know what I mean? You just can't do this in 10 weeks. You know what I mean? It take, I've been doing it like I, I'm 80 years old, and I've been doing this since the fourth grade. I am not the best, but I'm better than most. While many ceramicists apply glaze to their work, Parker prefers to paint his sculptures. If you look at mine, they are mostly painted because that glaze just sucks up the detail. Art will direct your course. Be everything, if you're serious. At age 80, Parker reports to work every day at his Edward E. Parker Creative Arts Complex to begin work on his next project. I do it all, whatever I'm called to do. I'm going to lead you the right way. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be your leader. 
creating till tomorrow's end. That's what I want to be. Stored in this mind of mine, some short I was old as a galaxy of untampered ideas. So hurry home, man, and be creative.